Summary of Mary Crofts. How I clobbered every cash confiscatory agency. The only law in existence today is contract law. What you think of as laws are only statutes and do not apply to you, they apply only to corporations. If you have no contract with the entity from which you receive a charging instrument, you are not financially liable, and, you couldn't possibly have a contract because corporations cannot lawfully contract. What you signed was a unilateral, and hence, unenforceable contract. All law is commerce, all commerce is contract, no contract, no case. There is not one government agency, department, or ministry in the world that can prove that you must pay what we have all been indoctrinated to believe we are bound by law to pay. Do not fall for this incredible deception any longer. Your ticket to financial freedom is to remember who you are. The only way out of this mess is to remove ourselves from the commerce game, completely, so that we are no longer dependent upon banksters. Their sole agenda is to control and destroy us. The only way to win is not to play. Compensation which involves the banks is hazardous, we can create for ourselves all that is way bigger and better, love and light, peace and joy, compassion and forgiveness, that which we were meant to be, do, and have. By remembering who we are we will learn to do what we love to do and serve ourselves by serving others, thereby leaving the banksters completely out of our new way of life. It is happening. Commerce is a game only the banksters can win. They're engaging us in it, via our working and banking is their means of controlling us. This is why cash pay for labor, offshore accounts, network marketing, barter, community currency etc. so frustrates the tax collectors. If we can keep their mitts off whatever means of exchange we use, they can no longer control us. Banks are not our friends. Do not allow them access to your assets. When we are employed, we work for money and the government controls our earnings, our finances, and our lives. Increasingly, Government is demanding employers to confiscate not only wages but also jobs, outnegation sourcing. It claims to protect us from scams when the truth is they want complete access, ultimately, to all their assets. They also prefer we invest in gov pension plans, rather than in ourselves, in order to perpetuate their Ponzi schemes. No one, under age 50, who paid, will ever see any return. Please stop working for a living. There exists a non-commercial remedy which allows us to escape the bank's interference in our commercial affairs. Here is how you can begin to receive, within three days, cash to your door daily. www.spiritualeconomicsnow.info slash remedy Many people still want to remain under the protection of the banks and have been programmed to believe that removing themselves from that is folly when, of course, the opposite is true. The only freedom is getting out from under their control. Initially, we can do this whilst still using their currency. Once we quit falling for their fear for our survival programming, we will feel free to exchange only our time and talents with one another and quit using all payment systems. Finally, we will feel safe enough and loving enough simply to do what we love to do and find a way to serve our fellows, whilst doing so. When we can give our time and talents from knowing that we are all one, only then will our belief in separation disappear. We are on our way. This program is only the first step to our freedom. Those who express concern, over the possibility, of not getting, seem not to do well. Those who are excited about giving, for the ultimate purpose of assisting each other in escaping our self-imposed slavery, seem to do well in this program. It will reveal to you precisely from what position, you operate your entire life. If you are not doing what excites you, you are not doing what you were meant to be doing. Remember, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much space.